Hey everybody, here I am in um, Sherwood, Connecticut, on Sherwood Island. There's the little woodchuck hall. Shirley Troubadour asked a question about why Gates and China are being allowed to buy up all the farmland in our country. And I'm going to tell you something that I had an experience with. I spent many years, about 20 years, suing the factory farms, the big hog farms, and big uh, chicken producers like Tyson and Bo Pilgrim and Frank Purdue. But Smithfield Foods was the biggest pork producer. And Smithfield came to the state of, uh, of North Carolina. They built a slaughterhouse that could process 30,000 pigs a day. And then they had a partner named uh, Wendell Murphy, who was in the state Senate. And he passed 28 laws in the North Carolina state Senate making it illegal to sue a factory farm. He left and went into partnership with Smithfield, created a way to raise pigs, instead of raising them on farms, to, to raise them in warehouses called Murphy 1100s. And they, they dropped the price of pork from 60 cents a pound to two cents a pound. It put out of business all 28,000 independent hog farmers in the state of North Carolina and it replaced them with 2,200 factories, all of them either owned by Smithfield or contracted to Smithfield. The only farmers who could stay in business were farmers who signed that contract with Smithfield to, to mortgage their homes, to put those big hog sheds, the Murphy 1100s on their property, and then they lose all control. They become serfs on their own land. Uh, Smithfield dictates all their farming practices. It gives them the food, it, tell, it, it delivers the, the piglets, picks up the, the grown animals, and brings them to slaughter. They put out of business 28,000 farmers, and they control now 80% of the hog production in North, in North Carolina. Because they dropped the price in North Carolina, Iowa had to adopt the same system had to uh, cave in to Smithfield. They ended up taking control of 80% of the hog production in our country. Then they sold themselves to China. So now China owns all that hog production in America and it controls our landscapes. And that's the end of Thomas Jefferson's vision of an American democracy rooted in tens of thousands of independent freeholds each one owned by family farmers, each with a stake in our system of government. And that's why all of this industrial agriculture not only gives us substandard food, but they're also taking control of our landscapes, and that is a huge threat to American democracy. I hope you guys have a good day. If you like this video and you want to help me become President of the United States, go to Kennedy24.com and donate now.